Okay, so the main card is uh, the adolescence. So you might be dealing with younger people. Uh, you might be, um, you know, um, tutoring them or mentoring them, rather. Uh, but you're dealing, it looks like you're dealing with a younger generation of people or people younger than you. Or this could be that, you know, uh, you're um, starting off something brand new as well. This could be meeting new people as well, or starting new projects as well, where you meet a lot of people. This could also be starting off a new relationship because these are young people, so something brand new starting off for you, and uh, you know you you dealing with that. So this is the beginnings of something. So either working with younger people or even starting something brand new. You've got the knots over here, so you've been very very anxious, very stressed out recently. There's been a lot of problems. You can see this all everything is tied up in knots, so you are very very anxious. Maybe because you you're starting something brand new. Or maybe you're anxious because you're, having, you're starting a new relationship and that is uh, putting you on edge. You've got the flying over card over here. So this is talking about, uh, you know, taking a chance, being a little bit reckless uh, about doing things, uh, not really giving it a lot of thought, maybe jumping into things too quickly as well. So, uh, you know, take things easy. Don't be too um, uh, rash. Don't, uh, you know, think about it before you do it. Um, uh, and if you're starting something new, make sure you're doing a lot of research into it before you start something new. So in the past, there's been some kind of problem that you were dealing with, or you were very, very scared to start something brand new. Uh, you were worried that it was all not going to be a success. So you have been, been worried about failure, and you know you had a lot of fears concerning some kind of big issue. It seems almost like a monster to you, this big issue. Now, you've gotten a lot of success in the past. Uh, it seems like, you know, you met a lot of people, a lot of honors bestowed on you, uh, you know, a lot of recognition for what you have been doing. So although you started off feeling very, very afraid, it looks like success has come in with what, whatever that particular project is. And it's allowed you to meet new people. Maybe through this project, you've actually even managed to meet people or maybe you're starting a relationship, a brand new relationship. Uh, with somebody that you met on the work front. Now going to the future, you've got the clock uh, tower, clock uh, card over here, and this is like the wheel of fortune. So things starting to move on, uh, you know, and time being of uh, the essence over here. So you're working under deadlines. There might be a lot of pressure and stress as well. Maybe this is the reason why you are very, very anxious and you've got this knots card over here. But big change is coming in for you, and um, you know, uh, it's things are starting to move forward. And you're building something new. You're being very, very strategic about it. You're being, uh, you know, very, very, um, you're paying a lot of attention to detail. But you've also got that artistic quality that is coming in. So you're thinking outside the box, really. You can see there's a lot of boxes here. This person thinking outside the box. So you're coming up with some new plans, new um, uh, things that you are, uh, new input into that particular project. And, you know, you are, you are considering all the options, weighing all the options as well. You've got this black and white cube over here. And also being very, very strategic, doing a lot of planning. And you're very, very organized as far as this particular job is. So that's coming in for you. And there's this big change that is going to be coming in. So, um, you know, you're bringing in uh, something that's going to be very, very uh, artistic, very fulfilling as well. Uh, but, you know, uh, and it's going to uh, be due to this big change that comes in for you. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the gay tarot for this uh, read. I have put the deck in the description box, so have a look. And I have shuffled this deck as well. So you've got the two of coins over here, and this is about, uh, you know, it's about meeting somebody who's very, you know, who, with whom you have got a very soulmate connection with. But in this deck, it's about, you know, looking at, at yourself and looking at all your strengths, um, you know, seeing yourself in a different light, uh, doing a lot of soul searching, um, you know, building your confidence up with this two of cups. Maybe that soul connection is between you and your higher self as opposed to you and somebody else because this person is looking in the mirror. So you are looking at, at everything that has been going on in your life and you're doing almost a life review about what is going and maybe you're picking out the bet, best points and you're, picking, you're looking at yourself in a very critical light. Uh, 
is what I'm trying to say. Um, and you're doing a lot of self-reflection as well at this particular moment. So you might be dealing with somebody or, or a situation that is causing a lot of problems. There's a lot of competition. Maybe you and somebody are butting heads with each other. You all need a medi uh, somebody to mediate the situation as well. So somebody's coming in to sort out the problems. Maybe you and this person are not getting along. And it might be somebody that you're dealing with at work because both, uh, you know, it's following um, the uh, eight of coins is crossing that particular card. So you might be dealing with somebody that's giving you a headache <laughs> on the work front and uh, causing a lot of problems. And maybe you've needed to call in somebody to mediate that situation, you know, to, to prevent you from, um, you know, coming to blows, if you like. So, uh, you know, whatever job you're doing, you're very, very focused on your work over here. You're an expert at it because this particular, uh, in this card, this man is a clock worker, a clock maker, rather. So he is very skilled at what he does, and he does very, very intricate work, and he's very, very organized. There's also deadlines that you're working to, through, uh, too, because there's a lot of clocks here. You might be doing a lot of projects as well, so you're spending le uh, a lot of time on it, very focused on it, working late hours. He's working late into the night over here. So you are very, very focused on your work, but somebody's giving you a little bit of, a, a little bit of grief over there, uh, a little bit of a hassle there. So in the past, you've got the two of wands. It seems like you've started uh, started a new project and you started investing a lot of your time and effort into it. Um, you know, you've put in a lot of hard labor, hard work into it, and it looks like you're waiting for that uh, project to start taking off or those projects to start taking off. You may have chosen a different direction as well. The two of wands is making that decision and going down a different route as well. Uh, but it looks like you've put a lot of effort and energy into this particular project or projects that you're doing. You've got the nine of coins. There has been some financial success that has come in. You are quite financially independent right now and money is coming your way. And you are, you know, you're enjoying uh, uh, this, your success as well. Uh, you are uh, benefiting or reaping the re rewards of the success and the hard work. He's enjoying his garden. So you planted the seeds, you put in, you can see he's planted the seeds there and now he's sitting back and enjoying the garden that ha has grown. So it looks like whatever efforts you've been putting in is uh, producing fruits. Now you are worried about financial loss. It seems like you know you're worried that uh, you don't have enough money, that you're balancing money, that you you've lost some some something in the past. You're worried about failure. So this has been playing on your mind. Now going to the future, you've got the nine of wands over here, and this is about leaving behind things. Um, you know, actually, it's about. Um, Dealing with responsibilities and being prepared for anything that is unexpected. Uh, because, you know, you don't know who can jump out from the shadows or what kind of problems can, uh, you know, emerge from the shadows. So the whole point of the Knight of Wands is beyond the defensive. Uh, and that is where you are at. You've gone through a lot of problems. You are protecting yourself, uh, watching your back. You can see this man's turning and looking behind him. Uh, and, uh, you know, you are uh, moving forward, but you are, you are still a little bit of afraid that things are not going to work out. So you are on high alert, really, at this particular moment. So what's going on for you? You've got the Guide of Coins over here. So some kind of news coming in, uh, some kind of new project that involves new money. Uh, and uh, that's going to, uh, you know, your focus is on your work at this particular moment. Uh, but there is some kind of news. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of news or waiting for new opportunity to come your way, a new job offer to come your way. You've got the Guide of Cups over here. Um, it looks like you are waiting. Uh, you know, something is going to be coming. This is almost like the... Um, this is like the Knight of, of Cups because it's this new opportunity being offered to you. It might involve some further study, but it, whatever this opportunity is, it's going to present uh, that presents itself is going to bring you a lot of happiness as well. Uh, you know, uh, your cup runneth over, so it's going to be you know something that you enjoy. But it is also something that might involve further education or even you training up people for a particular job. So there's new there's two things that you are waiting for. This new project to come in. And maybe whatever this job is, you're waiting for it to come in. It's a new offer that comes in. It definitely is coming in, uh, and it's going to. It might involve further study, further training as well, uh, and it's something new that's going to bring in that new money. The news is coming in. You can see all these birds bringing in the news. Now, what you want to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. This is where you want to be at. You want to be completely in control, and you want to be extremely satisfied and happy, uh, and you know 
doing your own things. So this is your hopes and fears. You want to be relaxed, uh, and, but you want to be in charge as well. Now you've got the Guide of Swords uh, and the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's some kind of official news coming in. This is having new plans and strategies. So you need to take whatever you've learned and put it in. You need to strategize. You need to make a plan. With this Guide of Swords, it could be something official coming in, so maybe signing new projects, but also it could be some kind of legal news coming in as well. Uh, you know, the, the Swords always bring in legal news as well. But it's definitely you taking control of that situation and being victorious in it so power being given to you here and this um you know uh, you're going to be starting something brand new now the guide of sword is also cutting out things that are not serving you so maybe you're putting an end to the past and moving forward the full card is about starting a new journey uh you know maybe uh, just turning your back on things that are not serving you and going forward uh, and that is where you are at now. There's somebody there that's going to give you some good advice. You're waiting for some kind of news, some kind of information that will get your, um, you know, your plans moving. Uh, so that's what you're doing. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune or the Wheel of Life over here. So whatever new thing you're going to do, you can see this man is traveling. He's got his backpack. There's also this air balloon over here um, or blimp as they call it. So something taking off. You've got a butterfly of transformation over here in that full card as well. So big change is coming. And then it's followed by the wheel, which is the ending of the old cycle, going out and starting brand new again. And this might be involved also international travel, meeting new people, um, you know, being in charge or communicating, or collaborating, uh, but definitely big changes, big shifts coming in and major changes coming in. So you've got the wheel and the, the full, so big, big, uh, comic changes coming in and like I said there's that cutting out of things so you're severing ties with people or severing ties with situations and you are going to be moving forward in a big way so I'm just going to draw some cards from the angel tarot for the oracle read So you've got the unity card over here, which is like the Hierophant, which says traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual organizations seek out like-minded mentors or like-minded friends. So with the unity card, the Hierophant card, it's about abandoning old traditional views um, and, uh, you know, uh, re reviewing your spirituality, for one thing. But it's also about getting good concrete advice and, you know, um, practical advice from somebody. So you might need to get some professional advice that is very practical and it's about being a teacher and a mentor so you might be doing some kind of training up of people as well you've got the wheel over here this is the second wheel so the first wheel is over there in the wheel of life and this is the card ruled by archangel michael a time for positive change a situation sadly moves forward fortune is on your side so michael is about legal things and you've got that um uh, guide of sorts over here so there's some kind of legal news coming in or something legal that comes in or something official that comes in that brings about this big change and it's going to be a very very positive change but it also allows you to move forward and make brand new beginnings as well and it says here that fortune is going to be on your side so it's a positive change then you've got the three of water over here a celebration so with this um Wheel of Fortune bringing in that positive change. You've got the Three of Water over here, a celebration, and it says a need to have more fun. So there's some kind of um, maybe graduation announcement coming in as well, but also a celebration coming in. So there's a great success coming in uh, for you as well. So something is really changing for the positive, and it's going to herald in a lot of success. And, uh, you know, you're going, you're going to be celebrating even going out with friends or, or, you know, sharing your happiness with people soon. So something very positive happening for you in that week. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated for you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.